Images of Chechen volunteers entering the Belgorod region of Russia together with the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion have been released from the Gorkovsky settlement of the region. Chechen fighters ironically say that they came to participate in the presidential elections held in Russia, but they could not find a polling station for it. The fighters said that the settlement was completely deserted, abandoned by residents and Russian soldiers, and that the traitorous Chechens fighting in the Russian army did not resist them either. It should be noted that the Legion of Free Russia announced that on March 17, together with Chechen volunteers, they had taken full control of the residential area and released footage from the area. Военная разведка Чеченской Республики Ичкерии находится на Белгородской области, село Горьковское. Сегодня 17 марта. Пришли на голосование Путина. Не можем найти урн бюллетеней. Все каким-то поспешным образом покинули Белгородскую область. Одна хромая корова и несколько собак. В частности, хотим поблагодарить нашего национал-предателя Рустама Агуева за то, что не оказал нам никакую, никакого сопротивления, никаких трудностей он нам не предоставил. Russian Volunteer Corps warns, we will do everything to prevent any Putin elections in border areas. Fighters of the Russian Volunteer Corps will make efforts to ensure that no sham elections of Russian President Vladimir Putin take place on the territories bordering Ukraine. Russian Volunteer Corps Commander Denis Nikitin said this in an interview with UP, Pitsumki Media Outlet. I believe that the fighters of the Russian Volunteer Corps will do everything to ensure that there are no elections in the areas bordering Ukraine. Perhaps this can be considered one of the goals of our current operation, he said. Nikitin said that Russian Volunteer Corps fighters can influence and show people that what is planned in Russia is not an election but a farce, and this is one of the political tasks of Russian volunteers. Nikitin also mentioned that after each similar operation, more and more Russians expressed the desire to join the ranks of the Russian Volunteer Corps. Every such operation proves that it is possible and necessary to fight against the Putin regime exclusively with weapons. Not toothless actions like lanterns in the night sky or whatever the Russian opposition has been doing for the last 20 years. None of that works. The death of Alexei Navalny only convinced everyone of our righteousness. Only armed resistance. And the Russian Volunteer Corps shows what this armed resistance looks like, what a real struggle for the future of Russia looks like. A large number of people are watching us, seeing our successes and finding the courage to join our fight, he added. Another group called the Sibir Battalion said on social media that, as promised, we are bringing freedom and justice to our Russian land. They called on the population in the areas where the battles were going on to leave those places. They also said that this is for security purposes. Recently, soldiers of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion have reported that they have crossed the Russian border. The military volunteer groups have posted an address online and a video has appeared on Telegram channels purporting to show military personnel firing their weapons on Russian territory.